your presence in this space is no mere coincidence. It's a meticulous and intentional connection designed to deliver the profound message of Apostle Joshua Selman directly to you. This message goes beyond being a mere source of blessings. It's a dynamic force, sparking the flame of greatness within you. Open your heart expansively and permit your mind to fully immerse in the opulence of this transformative diet. Before we venture further, I extend a sincere invitation for you to actively participate in this meaningful content. Engage by expressing your gratitude. Extend a virtual thumbs up to the video, share its wisdom with those in your circles who could find it beneficial, and become a subscriber to our channel for an uninterrupted flow of enlightening content. Your support is not only acknowledged, but also holds a pivotal role in our continual endeavor to disseminate these profound messages. As you tune in to absorb this distinctive message, I'm praying for you from today you will step into unusual levels of grace. Now hear me. Every grace God has deposited in this ministry that you have not received in the name of Jesus, as a result of this teaching tonight, I cry unto my God one more time, may that grace rest on you. Listen, let me submit to you under God. If you have been part of this vision for up to one year there are some things that should start speaking in your life and if it is not speaking go and examine these things it is either you are not a student genuinely learning or you are not genuinely connected you are just a fan a spectator who comes to watch these things one year 365 days is enough for some things to start speaking i'm praying for you Wherever dishonor closed doors towards you or lack of discernment, I cry unto my God this night by the power that raised Christ from the dead. May God revisit you with these anointings. May my God revisit you with these anointings. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you if you have programmed any negative thing waiting for you tomorrow because of things you have said because of graces you have dishonored because of dispositions you have maintained i cry mercy on your behalf now i cry mercy on your behalf now i cry mercy on your behalf now please hear me every dimension of grace distributed across the body of Christ that is needed for your destiny and for the next level wherever it is across the body of Christ I cry unto the God of mercy may he gravitate it to your life Amen. hallelujah listen there is a harsh economic climate biting on people destroying people by the grace of God and with every sense of humility you have heard me say it till Jesus comes there are certain things that will never happen economically to this ministry it is a grace you should not be under that grace and yet it is not speaking you are hearing the testimonies of men most believers argue with God, argue, they argue while they are suffering, they argue you are done, you go and listen to something else and you are like, no, it doesn't matter. But you are the one who is going through a, an embarrassment that can be sorted. I pray for you. Let me speak over your finances. The kind of favor that you need in this season for your business, for your ministry, for the next dimension of your life, by the mercy of the God of heaven, let it be released to you now. Let it be released to you now. Hallelujah. A man of God reached me when he heard that all the auditoriums that we booked for these conferences, every single one of them has been full. Every. Canada, US, UK. In fact, for UK was within two days or so. And right now, the trouble we have is what to do with the many more that are yet to come. And we've not started publicity. And I told him, I said, see, 
this thing is a grace when we say it, people think it's pride if a grace is on you it will speak if it's not on you you can ask it to speak and it will not speak and it is not for one man it is for the body of christ this thing we also received it from others it didn't come just by luck it was not always like this everything that makes you small everything that does not allow growth in your life some of you have been around ministry for years it has refused to grow business for years it has refused to grow i call upon my god the god of all grace this night may the grace that brings growth and advancement may it rest on you now <laughs> hallelujah one of my covenants with god is that for as long as i live as a man of god i will never manipulate god's people for gain never never i rather lose the ministry than manipulate god's people for gain i will not do that if i have a need i will go and cry to the god of my covenant and review the truths that i know but not to manipulate god's people when you see God doing certain things in this ministry and in every other ministry where you see his hand, let me tell you sincerely, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that that grace is for your taking if your heart is opened and if you are interested. When graces are upon you, they speak. Evidently, you will know. Don't be in ministry and you are giving excuses. It's because I'm this tribe. It's because I'm in this place. It's because I don't have money. It's a flimsy excuse. You open your heart and say, Lord, you gave these graces for the body. I am part of the body. I receive. Once upon a time, we had our crusades. We were owing. And I went to God and I cried. I said, God, I can't keep doing ministry this way. If I die of high blood pressure because of financial issues, or imagine that as I'm preparing this message now, the bills, do you know the temptation to manipulate people will come? I will pass the offering basket by myself and look at what you are dropping. You mean you, you are dropping this, drop something again, drop something serious. One of the ways to walk in integrity is to receive the help of God. Temptations happen many times because of limitations. Did you hear what I said? Temptations happen many times because of limitations. One of the ways to avoid temptations is to pray that the limitations that empower them are taken away from your life. I pray for you. Whatever has crippled you economically, making your allegiance to God vacillate, your integrity as a child of God vacillate, this moment, by the privilege of this grace that God has placed, I release you into a realm of fearful abundance. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hear me. You can have what to say, but it does not mean men will listen. Some of the smartest people in the world are the loneliest people. I have seen people even in ministry, men and women of God, gifted with character, with solid integrity, and yet nobody knows they are there. And sometimes I say, please, can I pray with you? What God has placed upon your life, all of us should benefit from it. I have seen people sing in passing. These guys are supposed to be leading nations in worship, and they are not even aware they are worshipers. And when I heard their voices, why are they here? Some of them were cleaners, cleaning rooms and singing. And you hear the melodies and you are looking. This man is in this place. He does not know what is upon him because they lack the grace for visibility. I want to pray for you. Whatever will make men know you are there. Whatever will make men to see the investment of the spirit upon your life and to encourage you and reward you i pray may the grace that makes this happen rest on you now may that grace rest on you now hallelujah don't be tired though i'm speaking over your life listen 
One of the greatest blessings in my life today is the gift of men. One of the greatest blessings in this ministry today is the gift of faithful men, faithful sons, faithful daughters. When men of God come and cry their ordeal and tell me the pains and the backstabs that they receive perpetually, sometimes I, I return to God and I say, Lord, I thank you. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. There are men of God today who cannot sleep. They can't call anybody a son. They can't call anybody a daughter. They don't trust anybody because they have been so wounded. They are bleeding left, right, and center. Every week is an episode of pain. God has given the gift of men, not just in this ministry, but the gift of strategic people. I was in Lagos this morning before I came and then came for Koinonia. And I was thinking to myself while I was on my way back, if God does not help a man by connecting you to strategic relationships, life will be hard, unbearably hard. I don't know who has struggled in this place. And you are tired of strong. I am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings, uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. By activating the notification bell, you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription signifies more than a mere click. It represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers. We ardently believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path. We express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey, and we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God abundantly bless you.